Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Aslam Al Hindi and you are learning SolidWorks 2018 and we will be discussing about different kinds of ellipses today. This is the basic one uh, having a center here and uh, from the center we can extend for the major axis and then for the minor axis or you can say that the length would decide which one is the major axis and which one would be the minor axis so now up to this point this second one is going to be the minor axis while this one this one was our major axis and if we extend below this point then this, this becomes the major axis and uh, this one becomes the minor axis so anyways and uh, this is our parabola which is being used in many engineering applications and uh, as you know very well that uh, the the trajectory of the planets around the Sun is parabolic so uh, here at this point this is the minor axis I'm taking this one as 500, 500 mm and uh, now this one I'm taking as uh, let's say 800 mm now let me show you what happens if I make both the axes as equal making this one as 800 now you can see this becomes a circle so anyways we I can drop it again to make it a parabola so this is the most simple one the ellipse now if we want a partial ellipse we'll be doing the same way clicking for the center then extending for the major axis then for the minor axis now up to this point the ellipse would have been formed but at this partial ellipse we have to create just like we create an arc we can make it as much as we want so this is the uh, the partial ellipse and uh, I'm dropping it like this you can see it is having uh, five control points this is the center point and these are for its control points we have to add the dimensions to these points to have the proper geometry of the this partial ellipse and then we can define the distance between these two lines so this was the partial ellipse now moving further we will be going for the parabola and uh, you may be surprised where the parabola is used this entity is used uh, in the car headlights and uh, the reflector plates in the telescopes this is basically used to deflect or reflect the light for example this is the these are the rays of different kinds of lights which would fall over the parabola the parabolic surface and it would direct them all in one direction like this and uh, like this so this is the parabola let me show you once again how I can make it up selecting for it clicking for the first point and then for the alignment and uh, this is the parabola and now I have to choose for the points of the parabola starting from this point and uh, now I can move as much as I want as much is the requirement I'm taking it like this now you can see I can choose between these points 
starting from this point I can go as much as I want as much the geometry allows so this is the parabola and uh, the next is conic I'm going for the conic and you see this is controlled by its row value now up to this point you can see I'm clicking here now I have to define the row value and it can go like that the row value can be 1 at the maximum it won't be touching actually the 1 so I'm placing this value as 0 0.75 so this is the conic this is also in some uses in the architecture and uh, this is also used in some shapes where uh, uniformity is required and uh, we have to satisfy certain parameters so this conic is used there so this is our discussion for today thanks for watching have a good day